Welcome to our virtual stateroom in the Iranian president's office. The question everyone's asking is who will be the next person to sit here in the president's chair? The one man we know won't be here is Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, who's bowing out after eight years in office. Whoever replaces him will be the head of Iran's government. But like Mr. Ahmadinejad, he'll have Iran's supreme leader looking over his shoulder. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei is Iran's most powerful man. And it's here in his office that the new president will be confirmed. It's the supreme leader and not the president who has the final say on major issues. He's the country's commander in chief. He's responsible for Iran's nuclear policy. And he has the last word on foreign affairs, in particular relations with the West. But it's not just the supreme leader that the new president will have to reckon with. It's also the Iranian parliament. Members of this parliament meet here in this chamber and can call the president to account. They approve the president's new laws, his ministers, and his budget. So if the president wants to push through his agenda, he needs their backing. Without it, there is potential for serious political conflict. But despite these limits on his power, don't think that the man who's going to sit in this chair doesn't matter. The new president will be responsible for the everyday business of running the country. It will be his job to manage the economy at a time when Iran faces sanctions and soaring inflation. And he's the face of Iran abroad, going on state visits and addressing the United Nations. Under President Ahmadinejad, Iran has been at odds with the West over its nuclear program. And inside the country, opposition voices have been largely silenced. So whoever sits in this chair will play an important role in setting out the path that Iran will follow over the next four years.